The, the attack on Pearl Harbor happened exactly 80 years ago, on December 7th, 1941. Um, and at 8 a.m. on December 7th, six Japanese aircraft carriers uh, attacked in two waves uh, the, uh, the naval base at Pearl Harbor. Uh, there were 360 Japanese aircraft involved. The fact that there were two waves is important. If there had been a third wave and planes were on the deck of the carriers prepared to do that, they would have attacked, attacked the petroleum depots at Fort Island at, uh, in Pearl Harbor. And they would have destroyed all the petroleum reserves that the uh, U.S. had in the Pacific. And the U.S. wouldn't have been able to recover from that for at least a year. Okay, we're being attacked again. <laughs> 2,403 service people uh, U.S. service people and civilians were killed that day, and 1,178 others were injured. The attack was considered to have, to have knocked out 75 percent of the U.S. Pacific Fleet. The, the attack occurred at 8 o'clock in the morning on uh, December 7th, which is 1 o'clock Eastern Time, on a Sunday. Um, here in North Attleboro, some people were listening to a football game on the radio. Patriots didn't exist then, but the Giants were playing, and that was the local team. All action really came to a halt. The, uh, all public transportation came to a halt. Everybody was told to go home and wait. And that evening, President Roosevelt had a, an address on the radio saying that the U.S. had been attacked at Pearl Harbor. And the next day, in front of both houses of Congress, President Roosevelt declared war, and the famous line, uh, this is a day of infamy, um, is the, you know, the, the, probably the, the iconic phrase from, from that happening. Recruiting offices in North Attleboro and elsewhere were overwhelmed with uh, volunteers. Ultimately, in World War II, 16 million Americans served in the U.S. forces. The mobilization afterwards was called the most extraordinary mobilization of a depressed economy in world history. 17 million new jobs were created during the war. Industrial productivity increased by 96 percent. Remember, the United States had had a depressed economy since 1929. What the Japanese had underestimated was our ability to recover from an attack like that. Pearl Harbor uh, will always be a day that, that lives in infamy, but I think that what unites us today is the shared love of our country and the willingness to get involved in our community. And as I look out into the audience, I see so many uh, familiar and friendly faces that have really uh, followed in the spirit of our, of our forefathers and, and ancestors that uh, helped bring this country together after a terrible time.